Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics. In this video I'm going to explain what half value layer or half value thickness is. Imagine you have an aluminium sheet with a thickness of 2 mm and where the radiation will fall on it. Then the half value layer will be the layer, the thickness of the aluminium where half of the radiation that fell on it will penetrate it, like this. As you can see, half the radiation has penetrated this sheet. If it will meet another aluminium sheet of 2 mm, again half of it will be penetrating it and half of it will be absorbed, and it will look like this. And again, if we have another aluminium sheet of 2 mm, then again half of it will be absorbed and half of it will penetrate. So the half value layer or the half value thickness of this kind of radiation is 2 mm of aluminium. So the half value layer or the half value thickness is the thickness of a material at which the intensity of radiation penetrating it will be reduced by half. This is not a constant. The half value layer depends on a few factors. For instance, the type of material. For instance, now we use aluminium, but the half value layer of paper will be different. The half value layer also depends on the type of radiation. So either it's alpha, beta, gamma or X-rays. And finally, the energy of the radiation. So even if you have the same kind of radiation, but the radiation has more energy, the half value thickness will be different. Now let's see how this will look like in a graph. So in this situation the half value layer is 2 mm. If we will put it in a graph, it will look like this. As you can see here, with an aluminium thickness of 0 mm, we have a radiation of 8 becquerel. If the radiation drops by half, so we go to 4, you can see that it's 2 mm. So for this radiation and with this material, aluminium, the half value layer or the half value thickness is 2 mm. If we add another 2 mm, then we see that it again drops by a half, so it goes from 4 to 2. And if we add again 2 mm, it will go to 1. And again 2 mm, it will go to a half, and so on. So every time you add a half value layer, the radiation will be dropped by 50%. There now will be two example questions to check if you understood. The thickness of a sheet of metal is measured by using radiation. As you can see here, we have a radioactive source and here we have a sensor and with this we can measure the thickness of this aluminium sheet. And here is a graph corresponding to it. So the first question, what percentage of radiation is transmitted when the sheet has a thickness of 14 mm? Second question, what percentage of radiation is absorbed when the sheet has a thickness of 6 mm? Try to answer this for yourself and pause the video now. Let's look at the first question. We have to determine what percentage of the radiation is transmitted when the sheet has a thickness of 14 mm. So we look at the graph and we read at 14 mm that 30% of the radiation is detected by the sensor. So 30% is transmitted. So our answer is 30%. The other 70% has been absorbed by the sheet of metal. Now we will look at the second question. What percentage of radiation is absorbed when the sheet has a thickness of 6 mm? At 6 mm we can read that 60% of the radiation has been transmitted. So the other part of the radiation has been absorbed. So we do 100 minus 60 and that's 40%. So with a thickness of 6 mm the sheet of metal will absorb 40% of the radiation. We will now go to the second question. The thickness of a sheet of metal is measured by using radiation. The metal needs to have a thickness of 28 centimeters. At a certain moment, a radiation of 85% is absorbed. Explain if the sheet is thicker or thinner than 28 centimeters. So pause the video now and try to answer this for yourself. So looking at the graph, at 28 centimeters, there would be 20% radiation transmitted because that's the amount the sensor will detect. So, at 28 cm, 20% should be transmitted. So, 80% should be absorbed. A higher amount is absorbed, 85%, so the sheet of metal is thicker than 28 cm, because a higher amount has been absorbed, that means that the metal is thicker. That's it. You should now know what half value layer or half value thickness is. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking and of course subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.